Now you know how to find specific files with specific extensions using a find command. And you have seen that it could search for files and folders in different paths. For example, you could use absolute path to root a folder using simply slash. Or you could omit argument and in such case find will use a current directory you are currently in. Now let me show you some additional examples. Let's try to find all files. In such case, you could use such command as find dot, next comes type operator, and next you could type here f, that stands for file. Let's press enter, and I have found all files in current directory. I could search for directories only. In such case, replace f with d, like this, type d, directory. And now I have found all directories. Next, you could find only links, type link. Here you see only links. But actually, you see here only list of files with corresponding paths to every file. It is not convenient, and we have used before ls command with option "-l", that has shown us table with the permissions, the size, and so on. There is such option here in find command, and this option is dash "-ls", like so. Let's press enter now, and now I see files in table format, but the formatting is a bit weird here. But anyway, here in the first column you see inode number, afterwards you see here permissions, and you see that in all files, first letter here is L, that's because we were looking for links. Also here you see user and the group, next comes date of modification, and afterwards link itself. But notice that this output is not formatted using different colors and it is not really convenient to read. Let's repeat same action but use directories with dash ls option and now I see only directories. And here you see d, the beginning of permissions sections. Alright, next you could find only empty files. For that you could use empty option. Find, dot, and let's look only for files and let's add here option empty. I am looking only for empty files in current directory. And for example, here is empty file. Let me copy its path and read this file, cut, and here will be actually a result, and this file is really in fact empty. That's how you could search for empty files. All right, next example. In the next example, let me show you how to search for files depending on the size of the file. So find dot, and let's look only for files, type file, and here will be operator size. And here using following syntax like plus 10, let's say k, I'll search for files that are larger than 10 kilobytes. Let's do that. And I have found two files. Let's add here also a less option and I'll see actual size of those two files. And both sizes are larger than 10 kilobytes. Recap that those sizes are in bytes here. Alright, let's search for files that are larger than 1 megabyte and let's look for files in all files and folders that are subfolders of root directory. Enter. And I have found, for example, such file as Perl, that is around 3.5 megabytes. Also, there are other files and again all files in this table are larger than 1 megabyte. But please notice that this output is not really convenient and uh, is not really nice looking. It doesn't have any colors like output of ls command. And it is actually possible to reformat this output and print it like ls command prints. But I'll show you that in the next lecture. Now let me show you one more example. And you could use file permissions in order to find the file with specific file permission. And let me remove this size operator. And instead of it, let's type here perm, that stands for permission. And as argument, let's type here 777. And let's search for such files with such permission only in current directory, like this. And actually no files were found. Let's modify this and let's search for all files and folders like this. And now I see all links, actually with read, write and execute permissions for all users. You see those results here. I'll explain you actually those permissions a bit later in details and I'll demonstrate you how to change permissions. And we will talk about that when I'll explain you how to create executable scripts.
All right, that's some options that you could use with find command. And next, after the small pause, let me explain you how to execute additional command after find command. I'll see you next. Bye.